Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. I'm Julian. I'm the CEO of Genius and Cell. We are the leader here in Asia regarding uh, LinkedIn services. So we help our clients to uh, get more leads and more clients through LinkedIn. And besides that, uh, with Tama, we also run a community here in Shanghai called LinkedIn Local Shanghai. And I am Tamar Hella. Thank you so much for having us. I am the COO of our agency, Genius and Cell. So Julian and I are business partners. I founded the chapter of LinkedIn Local Shanghai. And if if anyone's not familiar with what LinkedIn Local is. It is one of the largest professional networks globally, centered around LinkedIn, and it's become so large that LinkedIn started govern- governing us last year as volunteers.、Um, so in our community, we have about three thousand members in Shanghai. However, globally, it's in over one hundred countries and one thousand one hundred cities. So. It's quite a, an important network globally, and it's been amazing to see how it's grown in the past three years. What are some hacks for cold messaging on LinkedIn? So we use a script.、Um, a lot of people that we've done workshops with, or even just talked to in general, were really adverse to the idea. But here's the thing: if you're really prospecting properly. On LinkedIn or any other platform, you don't have time to customize every message. And if you do have time to customize every message, then call us because we'll put you to work. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just that's just the truth. You know, we're all busy, and so we do have to use a script. However, there are different ways that you can really personalize it. So the first rule is to always use that person's first name, or depending on the culture you're in, maybe you also include their last name. But it's really important to to say hello, John. Hello, Susan. Rather than just saying hey、um, or dear sir or madam, you know, make it personalized, and then just start with what we call in marketing like a nurturing sequence. And you really need to make it about that person. So the first point of contact, you have three hundred characters to add a note when you connect with someone of interest. Just use hello, John. I、uh, saw your profile, or I came across your profile. It's really interesting, and I would love to join your network. So, not I want you to join my network. I would like to join your network. So, again, you make it about that person. That kind of messaging that we use has a ninety percent acceptance rate. And then once you get them into that next kind of、uh, sequence of messaging, again, you make it about them. Ask how it's going. Ask them how. There's challenges, you know, right now for their business.、Uh, both Julian and I have have had really interesting conversations with people in the messaging part. So it's not this cold message about what they are facing during coronavirus, because lots of people are scared and uncertain, and they're having to lay off their staff or maybe even shut down their business soon.、Um, so when you have that human touch, you know, and you can also show like if you have value, especially right now. To help someone save their business, once you create the human touch, it's not a cold email anymore, a cold message. It's really getting to know them, and then after that, you want to see if it's appropriate to ask for maybe their company presentation, or hey, how about we grab a call on Zoom? We use a booking link,、um, so those kind of things are really really helpful. And again, like it creates a, a rapport. The unique thing right now is that people are so used to taking Zoom calls that having a booking link set up like that, people will almost always say yes. So those are kind of the things that we use for messaging. How can someone cater a post to capture more traffic? Do tactics like emojis and broetry really work? Again,、uh, emoji is what we advise、uh, definitely in the post.、Uh, I mean. Um, it, it really grabs the 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 the, the, the attention,、uh, and again,、uh, it's going to be the combination of uh, your uh, grab attention title, okay, plus, plus the emoji you you you're gonna、uh, you, you're gonna use.、Uh, one of the greatest act was. <laughs> 
some people complain about that in Shanghai, but it's like uh, I display, for example, uh, you know, the emergency emoji, and I just wrote emergency in Shanghai. And then, okay, I explained that actually I'm gonna give a workshop about LinkedIn. Um, again, uh, no matter what uh, is your uh, grab attention title, the, the idea is really to again uh, bring the people to interact and uh, to, 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 to bring a certain result. Meaning, here in the past, it's gonna be the, the, the comments and, and the like. Yeah. What advice do you have for someone? who wants to leverage LinkedIn to become a thought leader. It's um, more about LinkedIn top voice. But again, it depends on each country, okay? But they divide uh, from what I understood, like uh, uh, human resources or marketing. So you have different category. Well, again, uh, the, um, the term of thought leader, I think the accreditation of LinkedIn, okay, it's one thing. But what, what is important, it's like how people talk about you. And I can give you a clear uh, example. Here in our community, and maybe you have seen her already, her name uh, is Sissi. She brand herself as the one lady. She's based in Shenzhen, and I'm telling you, like um, even people that we meet offline here know her. So for me, that show again that you are a folk leader. That's it. Or even for myself, when I come back in South of France uh, last year, I come back and even in a bar, oh, you're not the guy that uh, has a Chinese character on his LinkedIn profile. Or even in Shanghai, you know, people st uh, tell me, oh, I've seen you on LinkedIn. You post every time, or something like that. So um, I think that's what makes uh, the, 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 the difference. Uh, a true tough leader. You would get stopped uh, on uh, in the street. First point or second point, people are gonna talk about you. But again, um, I think like to be a, a niche leader is to uh, specifically deliver value and uh, content with value on, on this specific to topic. So let's say okay, you are an expert of wine. So then explain us the difference between a Bordeaux and a Beaujolais, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, share, share uh, the, the content, uh, not in a, uh, in a technical language. It's also um, a common mistake that I see. It's people using acronym. I mean, okay, uh, I can talk about KOL, but I mean, if you are Italian, you don't know what is a KOL, or if you, uh, if you are not in social media, you know? So again, the people that can really position as a niche leader, it's the people that uh, use the most simple language, that want really to share the, the value in the content, and like that they can, uh, again, get the more larger audience. What are some common LinkedIn mistakes? A lot. <laughs> but the ones that we see most often have to do with people's profiles. That's why whenever we do workshops, um, we assume everyone's kind of like at, at ground zero, even if they've been on LinkedIn for forever, because not optimizing your profile is probably the number one LinkedIn sin. Um, you know, we have an opportunity to have a nice professional photo. A lot of people are still posting selfies or like a, I've seen people put their wedding photos on <laughs> for their profile. Um, or maybe like a family reunion picture your mom took, like, it's not the place for that. It really isn't. It, it needs to be a professional photo because that's how people create rapport with you visually first. The next one is, you know, if you think about your LinkedIn profile as a landing page, not your CV, but a, a sales landing page, people don't take advantage of the top banner photo. Um, so like Julian said, his definitely has a clear call to action. People can scan his WeChat QR code. Um, and that's like another lead generation tactic, but people don't take advantage of that or even just to make people think again about your brand, whether it's your company or personal brand. So people often don't have that. Another thing is they're too vague or obscure in their title. Um, it's too general. So I think people are still very scared 
to get really specific, they think they're gonna lose a lot of opportunities, but the opposite is true. Like you're gonna lose a lot of opportunities if you're too vague in general. You need to be really specific and tell us exactly what you're offering us. And then overall, I would say, again, just kind of like uh, being too far reaching. People really need to learn and understand that nowadays, especially in digital marketing, the more you niche down, you know, it's called thought leadership for a reason. The more you, you niche down, the more you give value about what you are currently offering and you get rid of all the other extra fluff that you've done in your life, the more clear it is how you can help solve my problems. Because when we're on these kind of platforms, we need to remember that if we're not solving problems, there's not really a point to be on LinkedIn or other professional platforms. But if you are solving my problems, if you have a service or product, some kind of solution that's going to save my world, make my life easier, help me to get more clients, keep my sales funnel full, that's what I wanna know. And then finally, I would say like just lack of consistency with posting content, um, or even saying, oh, I don't know that person. I'm not going to add them to my network. Well, it's not Facebook. It's not. So every, every connection has value, even if they're not a good connection because they can teach you something. They can teach you, oh, well, I don't want to connect with that kind of person. But people really need to understand, like, you do have to massively grow your network if you want to be a thought leader, if you want to really find the right people because it's going to take some work and it's a long-term game. Any questions? We will find an expert to answer them. Drop your questions in the comments or send us an email, dx at dashwayconsulting.com.